I party peoples. Yo, again. <laughs> I'm desperately trying to figure out the angle Find the on good this. Lighting. Yikes. Oh yeah. Either way, oh. it's really bright in here. Yes, it is. Oh, oh, the, the first vlog in a while, actually. Well, first vlog since I got back, and I've been back in Yakima for about two weeks. Sounds about right. Yeah, for two weeks. Was it once is ago? Next. I think I had the same angle at the. What do you go see? Snow, uh, Snow White and the Huntsman. <laughs> yeah, that's practically the same God, angle. That movie was boring as shit. Well, mm -mm. we're here because <laughs> I, I actually came up to this, came up with this today. Where it's like, it's like <laughs> yes. So it's like it's Valentine's Day. So go hang out with your with your Valentines or your Single Awareness Day survival buddies. Ah, high five! <laughs> That would be us, guys. Uh, fun times. Damn this stupid thing. Mm. Hopefully, have enough battery, mate. It, it's it. The battery thing is broken, basically. Oh. I'm. Well, that's a bug out. <laughs> I can't break out the damn angle. Point is, we we went to see beautiful creatures. Yeah. It was sort of my idea. It was either that, or we could have seen. A good day to die hard, because I've gotten into the Die Hard series. Yay. Sorry, guys. The this lanyard thingy. Not lanyard. Whatever those are. The, we'll just leave them alone. I think I'll... You know, I'm fine with this angle anyway. I'll just lean over here anyway. Uh, <laughs> so, actually, uh, yeah, well, really, you called me uh, last night. Yeah. <laughs> basically saying, like, you want to see beautiful creatures or a good day to die hard? And I'm like... I'm probably gonna be bored at a, a good day to die hard because here's the thing with me, with action movies, I have to really give a shit. It's like, die hard, you. Like I have give a shit. <laughs> just... Like I, I, I haven't seen the first Die Hard in a while, so. Have you seen the second and third? Uh, parts. Although I, I have seen, I have seen a uh, Live Free or Die Hard. Die Hard. I have seen Die Hard four, and that actually is... that. that oh. I, that, I think that I liked that one, but I think that I saw that like back when I was, like back before I was really into the like um, watching people review shit. Mm -hmm. Like that was back when I when I said that the that, that the first Transformers was a good movie. So let's not dwell on the past. But, <laughs> that is definitely like that, that, was, that was back when I actually liked that that movie, and that, yeah. of course I saw that on my fourteenth birthday. And but it's like I, I was young and I. I, and I didn't. I didn't watch a lot of movies. Well, I probably watched a lot more. I think actually, with my with my childhood, I watched the same movies over and over again, rather than a lot of movies. I think I did that too. Yeah. Now that I dwell on that, it's like yeah, it's like it's like uh, I remember my, I remember my brother basically forcing me forcing me down to watch um, Flat of the Navigator in a short circuit, and I and I didn't want to watch either of them, but I ended up liking both of them. Especially Flight of, the, Flight of the Navigator. Flight of the Navigator was the first uh, movie I bought for myself with my own money. But See, uh, I just grew up re-watching the 90s Godzilla movies, and then later on the 2000s, and then some of the older ones. And Disney. And Disney. And fuck this. Well, I think almost everybody watched Disney. Yeah, basically. They even mentioned it in, the, in, the, in this movie. Yeah. What to talk about with this movie? <laughs> this is going to be I, another I, hour. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I really want to spoil this movie, because or, but this is like, this is the first. This is like the one of those movies where I didn't know I was actually going to go in liking it as much as I did. Yeah. It. As open ended as the mo as the ending is, it's like what the fuck? Yeah. Because <laughs> it's kind of cool. <laughs> Sassy main character. I loved. I, I love how I, it's like I, for the first for the beginning, like before all the crazy shit happens, like with the, with the with the, with the um casters and all that, which is like casters. I thought that I thought that was fascinating because it started out with like uh, this really sassy main uh, this main character who uh, actually who actually um likes the sort of the loner outcast character. And the, and basically all the people around her, all the people around him, like aside from his best friend, who you're supposed, are like basically the people who are, who are who you're supposed to hate are the, like this this this, this takes place in like South Carolina, Gatlin back back ass word nowhere, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> South not Carolina. Not like this, not like this. That place didn't even have a Starbucks. This place is like 
five or six Starbucks. I think that I think that's like I think a lot of people, a lot of kids, like a lot of the high school kids are gonna go go into this movie going, wait, there's a worse place than Yakima. <gasps> I'm just I'm just like yeah, dude, go to White Swan for a visit. <laughs> Go anywhere outside of this town that isn't Seattle, Spokane, or the Tri Cities. Well, Toppenish isn't that bad. It's just right over there. That's true. Hi, Toppenish. Apparently, Toppenish is actually the is uh, a bigger city than this, but that might be in terms of land mass, like the size of it. I'm thinking more of maybe because of the Indian Reservation, but I could be wrong. I don't know. Eh. All right. Yeah, yeah, Yakima Indian. has an Indian reservation, guys. <laughs> Fun uh, fact. There are, there are a lot of Indian reservations, Native American reservations. I don't know what they, I don't know what, if, what which, uh, I don't know many Native Americans. <laughs> well, it's... That, that's how white this town is. Well, then again, uh, then again, we went, we went to high school where it's like more of the rich white kids went to. Yeah. It's, uh, it's, let's not let's not get into that. But yeah, it, but it's like I like how it's like the character. Most of the characters you're, you're supposed to hate are kind of spout off in that weird, uber conservative Christian stuff. Like, like basically, they they this movie is cool because yeah. Because <laughs> Like at the first half of it, they at the first half of the they have some of the, the mortal human characters act big. She do the whole. It's like I had that with Satanists. Satanists. Oh God. <laughs> Those <that>. accents. <laughs> I don't know what. I don't really know that many Southern people, but I don't know if those were really authentic or not. Were those all right? I, I was. Well, I I I had to play. Uh, I had to play um, Edward Rutledge. The the, oh, the, del right. the delegate from South Carolina. I remember that. That was amazing. It, this de de the delegate from South Carolina in um in seventeen seventy six. Yeah, it's oh, like my. he's a he's a because I, I and actually oh, I, they God. they let me talk in that voice with with the with the not too fake but probably uh, probably about as good as the actors here. Okay, cool. It's, I was gonna say it's like I don't know if those were really authentic or not. <laughs> After all, I'm in the Northwest. I'm oh. right here. They're right there. <laughs> I'm just, just uh, I'm, I'm trying to think of a line from from 1776 that I could do, but no, I don't know. Most of the thing, because like the guy had was like in the play. I don't know if it, if it was like that in real life, but in the play, 1776, he had to be the guy who basically made it basically made it so John Adams had to take out the slavery clause in the Declaration, which so, sucks uh, ass. So I'm trying, so I'm trying to think of one of the lines. That I could do, but <laughs> but still kind of getting like tangentially off track. Yeah. Ah. Uh. uh. Anyway, but but yeah, it's like um. The main character should have a tumbler. Ah, he would I know. fit in perfectly. He was <laughs> like, mo mo like most of the stuff that they uh, talk about was like um. Like it. Like he, uh, like at one point, the main character talks about like his dead mother, and his mother said something, basically uh, calling the library a church. Of course, we find out later on that like about the secret library underneath the yeah. regular library. Mm, yes. Nancy Reagan, the only mortal casters ever feared. <laughs> <laughs> I can see that. Too. Ma makes sense in context, kind of. <laughs> but my favorite line was that was near the beginning where he talk, where he talks to like it's after it's after um Lena shows up, and the, and the, like they have their little talk and <laughs> this, this this girl who was kind of sort of maybe a little basically this bitch who was who was a. Smitten with the main character Ethan, named Emily. I'm so sorry. No! <laughs> I swear, not every Emily is a bitch. I swear to God. <laughs> um, I hate my name. Ah. I'm trying to. Well, actually, no. I, I think it was like the most popular baby names of, of ever, uh, of either ever or the or um. Of the twenty of the twentieth century, um, it was Emily and Jacob. Yeah. So. Oh, the irony. Okay, but yeah, my favorite line in the movie is like where she is where uh, she pops up with um. Is where is where she pops is where she uh she pops up to talk to him, is like I I just I worry about you I still care deeply for you as a friend, but I just don't want to see you going to hell. He's like I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to hell, Emily. 
I want to stop in New York first. <laughs> I was like, holy shit. <laughs> I really do, though, because this is based on a book. I do really want to see how the book kind of turned out. How like how much more detail it is. I love the pacing of this movie because it starts off with like 109 days until like like 109 day countdown until like the until like uh, Lena's 16th birthday, which when she gets claimed. But but it's like it's like a little over two hours. But it feels like a lot of time passes. Yeah. And again, the the whole idea, like m manipulating time in a movie, is not an easy job. No. Nah. Like it's in the, like for some people can't like some people can't uh, deal with a two and a half hours sometimes. See, I thought Batman: uh, The Dark Knight. I thought that would go on forever because it was just one thing after another after another. I'm like, is this movie over yet? What are we doing <laughs> here, guys? And uh, with, I, know, I I hate I hate bringing up the Transformers movies because they're such a dead horse at this point. Yeah. Like everyone has bitched about them, and it's sure we're getting a fourth one with Mark Wahlberg, but I'm like, wait, we're getting a fourth one? Yes, we are. I, I, even Michael Bay doesn't want to do it because it's like basically, um, from what I've heard, it's basically is it is it Paramount that owns Transformers? I don't know. Shit. Forget which, but it's basically like, okay, Michael Bay, you want to make this movie with uh, Dwayne the Rock Johnson and Mark Wahlberg? It's about basically about two bodybuilders. You want to make this movie? Okay, we'll give you the money to do that if you make another Transformers movie. And Mike's like, okay. Oh dear God. But then, but then I, oh. but then I, I think to myself, you know what? I'm not. I'm, I don't think I'm actually going to go see it unless. I don't, I don't really want to go see it unless I'm not paying for it. I ain't paying for it. Because, like, because that's, that, that, that's the whole thing. It's like, it's shit, but people go see it anyway. Yeah. No kidding. And sure, like, internet re reviewers can, uh, can make excuses where it's like, okay, I'm gonna go see this movie because people on my, because people, uh, on the internet want my opinion on it. Even though I'm still giving into the system so that they can more shit, make more shit like this, damn it. Uh, yeah, well, it's a vicious cycle. It's kind of, it's actually kind of funny with me, it's like, when, uh, at least with me in uh, good movies, because there's less things to talk about in a good movie than in a bad movie. Yeah. <laughs> but, like, yeah, th this is, I, I, I can't speak about, like, the objectively good or bad movies, but I like, I like this movie, because... Because, because it's like it had like because you know, it it did some of that uh, fun. Fu it did some of that uh, like a few. They had a few lines of uh, moments of fundy bashing. <laughs> but what's funny is that the main, the main villain who is like Lena's mother, uh, named Seraphine. I thought I, th I thought the, I thought the first time they said Sophie, but S Seraphine sounds more witchy. Seraphine. Why do I feel like I've heard that name being used before? Uh, but um. Can't think of it. Yeah. But um. Ah. Yes, sir. I it's um I think I think I think that was Emma Thompson, wasn't it? Yeah, that was Emma Thompson. Yeah, uh, she basically she took over one of the one of the one of the people in the in the community. <laughs> uh, took over one of the bodies just to kind of because I because she can do that. For the fuck of it. Yeah, but what's but what's hilarious is that <laughs> it's great how it's like the worst the worst that like the worst uh the she she basically takes over and acts like and act, and acts like one of the stereotypes like like the worst thing said in this movie like uh, as one of the as one of the f uh, fundy southern person is like she's it's like right before we find out that that she took over that body like she's like that person says something like like you you and your you and your kind of gonna be condemned just like just like um like she she actually struggles struggles for so you could so it's like afterwards you could tell she was acting like she was she the character was acting like mm -hmm. you're gonna be condemned just like all the satanists and atheists and homosexuals and democrats liberals and green green peace <laughs> all the unnatural kind I'm like wow that's did you just pull that out of your ass <laughs> but then we realized oh she was acting. It's kind of good because uh, it, it may it, it, it all because it, it like ab about halfway through the movie it, it evens out. It's like it starts off with all these, with all the you know the cr you know crappy Christian stereotypes and some people might feel about that. But later on you get like the character of uh, Emma, yeah, the uh, Viola Davis. Yeah, yeah. Viola Davis, uh, Emma, like we're 
she she's a seer, so she knows about the caster world and all of that, but she still believes in God. And like, thank you for evening the playing field. I I admire this movie. It it evens it evens everything out. It's nice. Although for a minute there, I swear it looked like she was doing voodoo, but then I was like, I don't know if that's voodoo. That doesn't seem like voodoo, but okay. <laughs> Of course, my first thought was Zakora from MLP because because <laughs> some Zakora, of the stuff that she yeah. some of the stuff that she does yeah all that so but I, I wonder if I should actually I think I think my mom would like this movie for a bit I, I don't know what well, I think the only thing that, that my dad would get out of it would be that one line about going to hell I want to stop at, stop off at New York first <laughs> Jeremy Irons Jeremy Irons did great yeah he did. Especially that whole little part where he's like saying his like potential future out loud. Oh my god! You were going like, what the fuck was that shit? And I was going like, oh, somebody's being a little bit of a wow. I knew, I, I, I understood that that's what he was doing, but I was just listening intently to the. The, it's like he started. I was like, because because uh, the main character one is like, you know, as long as I'm getting out, as long as I'm getting out of, I'm applying to all the all of the colleges, you know, just so I. You know, just as long as it's like thousands of miles away from here. But then he's talking to Jeremy Irons. Yeah. And oh, when we first see the mansion, and he's like, "No, I want." It's like, "Yeah, I'm I'm fond of all of them. Just in, uh, you know, just just as long as it's uh, uh somewhere uh, close to home, or I mean, like a local college. I mean, so that I can uh, become maybe do some school work and become a school teacher, and then I'll, <laughs> and then I'll um, and then I'll marry a." Then I'll marry uh, Emily Le 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 Lisa Davis, I guess. I just, no, I'm, I, it was I'm, Emily I'm, something, and I'm like, uh, uh, uh. No, you did not. Oh, oh, her Emily. I didn't. Yeah. I, didn't I didn't pick that one up. But, and she said he said something about having an affair. Yeah, with like a, a, having an affair with, with like Suzanne Collins. I think Suzanne Collins is something like person, that. But, like, uh, yeah, he just goes on with he just goes on with that. There's it's like I'll get three. I got. Uh, I'll start drink although I don't actually although I will feel very empty headed so I'll start drinking I'll have an affair with Susan Collins and after the and then I'll go live all on my own yes uh, I'll go live on on my own um after the divorce after the divorce papers and the kids will and the kids will live with their mom at age 60 I'll check into a I'll check into a, a retirement home then at age 65 I'll hang myself but they won't find the body. But they won't find the body just right for, uh, a, uh, for a little while until I stink. The Terminator's like, well, it looks like you have it all planned out. <laughs> like you son of a bitch. <laughs> uh, although I, I kind of do have one criticism. I don't know the actress for Lena. Didn't it seem like her expressions like? Didn't it seem like she didn't have many expressions? Kind of like with Kristen Stewart and. Jennifer Morrison. Not, not as not as noticeable not as noticeable with Kristen Stewart, but I, like one thing I noticed with me is that like uh, sometimes when even when I feel, even when I uh, feel at my lowest, I look in the mirror and like wow it doesn't really look like I have any expressions at all. Yeah, well, I don't know. It seemed like she didn't have very many. I mean, like it, it, she had a lot more than I think. I I think it's like it may, it may have been like her character. Personally, I, I, I think like her character because of her character ha basically had to show uncertainty for a majority of the movie. Yeah, that's. And true. also, I, I, I think I think uh, at least this actress had more expressive eyes. Yeah, definitely her eyes. Like uh, yeah. then, I can person Kristen Stewart, who's not that bad. I, I need to watch Into the Wild to double check, but um. We didn't even get to see that part really with her, or did we? Yeah, I did. We... I, I, I yeah, I remember. Oh yeah, we did. Yeah, I was sick for a day, and even I got to see her. Um, I, don't, yeah, I, I, I don't know if you were, but but yeah, like uh, yeah, that's right. He's in into the into the wild and like, mm. which reminds me, I still need to at least watch the last part of Breaking Dawn Part Two. I know they've already taken it out of theaters, but I just want to see it after that whole little controversy with that one scene. Have you with heard the ending? About that? Yeah. yeah. First of all, I, I know two things about the movie. One, Michael Sheen is awesome because <laughs> especially with that one scene where it's like, bring the child to me. Ha! It's like what the? Are you on crack, dude? I, it's it's him. What do you expect? <laughs> I think he's been like that for the past few movies. He he, he, he did that in Tron Legacy. Like he was that he was that character in Tron. Oh, Legacy. he was that guy. Oh, that's awkward. <sighs> I didn't. Of course, of course, with me and 
I had my own problems with Tron Legacy. Because <laughs> uh, it's like, because like, oh, I, I thought that this is actually, I thought the, the characters and programs were supposed to be dealing like, like what, like what their services are supposed to be like, what their services are like in the computer world. I thought, I thought they were just personifications of what computers were doing and operating. And it's like, oh, it's basically just Narnia and a computer. Okay. Oh, well, nope. Oh yeah, we should probably talk about the uh, not the commercials, the movie trailers that were with it. Oh god, I don't even. Uh, there was Jack Reacher. Jack. No wait, no, no it, it was it, Oblivion. It, it was Oblivion because, but his name's Jack, so it's like Jack Reacher. What the fuck? Yeah, Oblivion. I have to admit, the effects look, look spectacular, and I, yeah, and I, I don't want to do any Scientologist Scientologist bat bashing because everyone else does, but it's like he's doing some nice sci-fi stuff. Good job. I don't know. I, I just don't really care for Tom well, Cruise. But it's, it's 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 sad because um, uh, Will Smith and Jaden Smith are going to be doing it. Uh, another post up are doing a post apocalyptic movie called After Earth with M Night Shyamalan. What do I do? I just need to slap the closest living person. I'm sorry. It, it is M Night Shyamalan. He really needs to get out of he's, business. He's yeah. He's yeah. He came back with a new movie and it's. Uh, it's that yeah it's like it's like they 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 travel and they found their thing to uh basically earth after it was taken over by it's like a post-apocalyptic earth but they still have primordial beasts great so like, <sighs> it was like uh, so it's like okay so it's like after all the humans leave that's how life will be evolve that's how uh, natural life will evolve that's fucked up but cuckoo cuckoo I'll let, uh, let's see. What was the what was the one before the big uh, mind your movie manners thing? Like the don't 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 text and all that shit. What was what was the one before that? Uh, it was Oblivion. Then there was two Morgan you, Freemans. You, Morgan, F yeah, Morgan Freeman was in Oblivion. Yeah, he. What was now it? you see me. Now you see me. Now you see. Yeah. It's like okay. It's so like so we have Jesse Eisenberg, Woody Harrelson, Morgan Freeman, Michael Caine. Robert Downey Jr. Pretty it, sure I, I, it looked like Robert yeah, Downey Jr. Yeah, it did. It, it, it didn't say in the thing. It didn't say in but the. But that looked like Ro Robert Downey Jr. Oh, so and like, Mark Ruffalo was in it too. Mark Ruffalo. I'm, yeah. Uh, that, that I don't know. That may have been him. I'm pretty sure that was him. I think I saw his credit, his name in the little credit. I know. Uh, no, I mean like it could have been the guy who he thought was Robert Downey Jr. Oh uh, well. Uh, <laughs> but I'm just like. Knows? But I'm just like. That's fucking awesome casting. I want to see Jesse Eisenberg again because he was a great Mark Zuckerberg. And I, I, which means I need to actually look. I need to actually find look some um, some more filmography. I know that he was in a movie called Thirty Minutes or Less, where it's like he was a pizza delivery boy that got run in some with some I don't know terrorist. But point is, he had a uh, bomb strapped to his chest. Uh, I don't think any, I don't I don't really think anyone saw it. It sounds familiar. I don't think I, I think saw it. it was the same director from Zombieland, which yeah. So, <laughs> Woody Harrelson and Jesse Eisenberg. So it's like the two guys from Zombieland are now in Now You See Me. Hmm. And then, uh, and then, um... There was another trailer. Great Gatsby. Yeah, that's it. I'm just like, that's... F yes! I don't know, I don't know, I don't know why I'm so, I'm so excited with The Great Gatsby as I am, but... Oh, but Tobey Maguire's in it. Oh, I can't take much of his acting after the Spider-Man trilogy. How about after Pleasantville? I'll watch. I'll I'll show you Pleasantville sometime. Oh God, does he start? Does he start bawling in that too? Not really. Uh, I fear. But I'm like, but I'm, I just like. I guess I. I guess I. I have this fascination with um, Great Great Gatsby because uh, like I had to read it in high. I had to read it in high school, but I. Uh, I did. That's that. weird. I didn't. I had to. I had to do that. I basically. Here's what happens when I had to read something in school. Where it's like, okay, I'll read the first two chapters and uh, the first few chapters, and then I'll. I got lost. Where it's like I had to kind of stumble. I, I made it out okay, but I ended. I, I ended up not reading the actual book, or maybe like looking up on Spark Notes or something like that. That's so. what you did with like half the books that we got in. Uh, what's it called? Uh, and, Outsiders and Lit. Yeah. Wait, I did. I think you sort of read that. Snow one. As simple as snow. Yeah, as simple as snow. Yeah. That is still a fascinating book. Yeah, I what still, the hell happened to her? I still have that. Yeah, I still have that book. I. I still have it too. <laughs> anyway, um. Never getting rid of that book. Anyway. It just yeah the, with the great with the great Gatsby it's like with the with the great Gatsby um, it may have been because we, like we watched the movie from the seventies. 
Yeah. And the movie from the 70s has Robert Redford as Gatsby, and Nick Carraway was played by Sam Watterson. And it's mm-hmm. like, I know that guy, but he has black hair. Holy shit. <laughs> Because I know him from because he's like he's in Law and Order, and I also st- we, my family started watching the newsroom. So ah. Sam Watterson's also in there. But um, it's like we were talking about a, we were talking about a movie with 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 Southern witch, uh, with Southern witches casters, right? Yes. <laughs> but um, yeah, Tobey Maguire's in that uh, uh, and in Great Gat in the Great Gatsby seventies. Um, <laughs> Mia Farrow was in it too. Is that who that was? Not not in not in the new one. Oh. It, I was gonna say. <laughs> in, the, in the 70s one. Oh, yeah. Uh, but, um... Well, we're sort of discussing the trailers. Right. But in... But uh, well, there's this one scene, I think... It, I think that might have been Sean Taub in the new one. But it's like, there's like a scene where it's, a, where it's like a Gatsby, a Gatsby takes Nick Carraway to talk to like his um, old, like a f- uh, elderly ge- gentleman accomplice. Oh, yeah, that guy. Old friend. I think in the trailer, it may have been Sean Taub. A.K.A. one of the only good actors in Last Airbender. Uh, Ira! Yeah. And, yes, Ira. And he was... Oh, yeah, and he was in... Uh, that same actor, he was in Kite Runner. I think he was the uncle in Kite Runner. Oh, yeah! That was him. But, um... Love that guy. But, yeah. But, it's like, in the in the um, 70s movie, in the 70s version... In the 70s um, Great Gatsby, it's like... They have that scene where he's, like, having dinner with the guy. And it's like, wait! I know that actor! He's Benjamin Franklin, 1776. You recognize everybody everywhere, don't you? I'm like, I was like one of the, I was, I was freaking out because I was like the only asshole in class who was, well, for one, has watched 1776, the, 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 the um, 70s movie with, it was a 70s movie with um, William Daniels. Look Ooh, up, it's look, getting hot in here. Yeah. And open the door. So hot. <laughs> look, there we go. Look up William Daniels sometime, guys, because you, you, you may know his, you may know his stuff, at least his voice. Oh, that's like... Mr. Finney! Mr. Finnegan! Where did I come up with that? <laughs> oh, wait, Harry Potter. Right. Mm-hmm. I don't know why, it just sounded right to say. But yeah. That, 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 that is weird how it's like, with a bad movie, I can point out like all the crappy stuff all the crappy stuff that I didn't like in a bad movie, but with a good movie, it's like, I liked it, I came out with a really good feeling. Why can't I talk about it? <laughs> what the hell was that? It's like... <laughs> But it's like, but uh, it's like the whole yeah the whole, the whole conflict of the movie was like whether or not she'll turn light or dark. And the whole darkness. And they said they okay. There's 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 one thing that kind of made me think was like the they um. They uh said that. It's like uh, that a that a that a male caster can choose can sort of control himself. Where it's like even if they are claimed dark or light, they can still choose which way they act yeah but with but with females it's like their true nature they can't control their true nature and just you're like what if, what, the, what could that possibly mean in terms of like female characters because at first I thought it was maybe a male at least males in general can uh, hide their feelings or hide their emotions a, a little bit more well than females can but I thought did what I just think is bullshit? <laughs> well, females because I don't to be hormonal because I cause, a lot. Okay, I don't know what it's I don't know what it's like to be female. So I'll I'll so I'll I I'll, I'll take your word for that. Because I because I, I only observe sometimes. Or yeah. You see, but you don't observe. Let's just say this is half the time why I don't like. females. Females because they're all well. You obviously saw sometimes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Some like some. It's like a uh, some uh, at least some of the female friends because I have a a lot of female friends. Quite I a few. know you do. But it's like a lot of them are, um, like they they are they are a bit more expressive with their emotions. But that's because of, that's most because of the of this long 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 range of society where it's like, no, the men can't show show their emotions unless it's like being the the person who knows everything. Or, and if they don't know everything, then they just shut up. Hmm. Now we're getting into a really weird territory. Maybe this is why I only have two guy friends, which is you and Jason. I still haven't. I still haven't really talked to Jason much, except on Facebook. Oh, he's starting at school. Oh, nice. But um. Same time as me. <laughs> but I, yeah, but it's like I'm trying to figure that out. Where it's like, because I'm wondering, like, if that if that's fair. 
like in the like in the thing where it's like female in, casters in are the context of things in the uh, context of like if, if the female it's like females well it's like it's like lena ends up being like the one per the one which you can choose the way she the way she is because like the females can't i can't can't um can, can only it can only succumb to their true nature well i think it's more or less how do i explain this Maybe the reason she can pretty much change that is because she's the one who kind of, you know, broke the curse that was upon her family with the whole, even if you choose light, you're still going to become dark. Maybe something to do also with the fact that she also kind of looks exactly like her ancestor that was the one who started the curse, you know? I'm trying to think, I'm trying to think of that, uh, but, um, I was, I, I was I was less thinking about like in the context of the actual story and more in the context of like what that would mean in, in terms of like um psychologically, like that's why that's why I thought it's like okay men can kind of choose their nature because they are less expressive with the mo with their with their true emotions. Probably yeah. That that might be it. I th yeah that that does make more to sense. to a certain extent. Who at least, I know I know that two people wrote this uh, wrote the book. Was it two people? Uh, that's what it said like based on the novel by. This person, this person. Huh. So I... Funny. I'm pretty sure at least one of them... I'm gonna have to go pick up the book now. I'm pretty sure at least one of them was a woman. Yeah, I'm sure... Well, look right. at the most of the... F oh, most of the books that you have out. You got The Hunger Games. You got Twilight. That's uh, that's why I that, that, that's why I came up with the name Suzanne Collins when I was going off on that thing earlier. Because uh, Suzanne Collin Collins wrote Hunger Games. Uh, uh. I don't know if they... I, I know it was like Susie... Hmm. I wonder if he did say Susie Collins. Possibly. <laughs> if that's the case, that'd be hilarious. <laughs> One gag that they did in this movie was like they talk about is like if we ever get a movie, it's already it's either already on DVD or they mess up the names on the theater. Uh. It's, like, it's like Interception with Robert with um, Leo DiCaprio. Yeah. Or, what? Or um, my phone. Or Finale yep. Destination Six. <laughs> God. So this movie has some really good moments. Really good, really good, funny stuff, and a really lot of good um, just dialogue in general. I love the, I, yeah, I love, I love ba basically like that one point where, um, Lena starts reading this from this like the Book of Moons, like all of that powerful, uh, spell casting stuff, <laughs> like all of that, and she starts to become less, uh, a bit more distant and a bit more cold, and I realized, oh. I, I noticed I, I that that scene. I noticed that. Oh wow! There, this, it's like the, this couple actually have, they they have actually they actually have bump, bumps on the road. It's like they have the, some moments where they're very sweet, some where they're very yelly, and some where they where they actually fight. It's like yeah. that 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 is at least at the very least real. So I thought I thought that was interesting. And of course, with the time with the with the pacing and how time passes in the movie, it worked it worked pretty well. Yeah, it it even seemed like they just even had a more solid relationship really than Edward and Bella could that, ever possibly have. That one's just boring and creepy, but um. Yeah. Well. <laughs> but I like that. It's, but I like that when like she went, when she got irritated with him, it's, it's like she made it rain in one spot that it <laughs> followed him. <laughs> <laughs> that 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 is good. I like that. And he, then he basically proceeds to basically come, basically lay out the whole life of a mortal. Basically, yeah. It's, it's a this so, movie was actually rather philosophical. Ah, that philosophical. Or at least it had a lot of those well well written platitudes. Yeah. It's like a lot of the, a lot of the dialogue that was said because you know a script of the movie. It's like all these well well concise articulate sayings. You know, except with me, where it's like, I come up with the, I like when I, when I get more philosophical and existential. It's like, it's more like when I'm alone, and that's when I come up with the more uh, concise and articulate things in my head. But but when I try to explain it to someone, it's more confused and stuttery and hard to explain because that's the thing with with talking to other people. Sometimes they don't really understand where you're coming from. Yeah, I try doing that a lot in my writing, just having a lot of philosophical things just kind of ring, mm. running through it. At least try to. And I've never actually finished anything because my mind. Yeah, that happens. But I should be able to finish a script. I'll do a script of something. I just don't know what I'm going to review yet. I've been done for uh, over half an hour. <laughs> well, well, what do you expect? <laughs> oh, fun. For all we know, this thing's going to be longer than The Dark Knight Rises. Well, how, how long was that? 45 minutes? 
Yeah, that was, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Like forty-five to forty-eight minutes. These will just keep getting longer and longer. At least I think it, I think with Dark Knight Rises, I think it actually took me a while to figure out my precise feeling on Dark Knight Rises because I, I don't I don't know if I actually got to it in the in that in that video. Like the only vi like the video that I actually got that I actually said my piece was uh, was like where I said something like uh, where I used to clip from the Hannah Montana movie where it's like it's not bad it's just good it's, it's just not good about anything. That's what I, that's what I first initially thought, but that's that, that's one of those that's one of those cases where it's like, and then you know with that video and with the video that I put that that I uh, put out recently on the unit, you know, it's like. You know what? I should not be doing this sort of these sort of videos because no one fucking gets it. <laughs> I have to explain this shit. Well, but I, I but think it's hard for me to explain this shit. They should have gotten the election one. Yeah. Because that was done. Yep. Yeah, 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 but that's like that. Yeah. But, but that but that one's just more like a baser thing of that one's just more like a baser thing that that's more objective. Like rather than actually expressing an opinion on something like oh thank God Romney didn't win or uh, or. You know what? I voted. F he was like, you know what? I voted for Gary Johnson. Fuck this! I, I'm I'm just ducking undercover. It's like it, it was more like, oh thank God, it's finally over, which is what everyone thought. That's true. Yeah, finally all the political ads can go bye bye. I think. Thank although God. I although I think I I think getting back to like my thing about Dark Knight Rises was like I think it was more like first of all like it wasn't it wasn't that bad of a movie. It, it really wasn't. It just it was, it had it. It had its flaws. But I was just like, and then here's the thing with me and Dark Knight with the Dark Knight series. It's like, yeah, I liked the Dark Knight when I first saw. Oh, it. I loved. The I, Dark I, I, Knight. I I didn't even see Batman Begins, but I did see Dark, the Dark Knight, and I love and I liked it really. And I uh, really liked it, but I never watched it again. Well, I saw it twice, in, like once in IMAX, once in theaters, like each screening, each different screening with my parents. Yeah. But. After that, I never bought it on DVD because I never cared. It's like, oh, the Dark Knight's on. Uh, oh, the oh, it's like the Dark Knight's on DVD. Okay, moving on. See, we we have the entire series. We have Batman Begins. It's because I think it's because we like doing marathons, like with the Lord of the Rings. I need to do the Lord of the Rings marathon with you, the extended version. Then after that, <laughs> and then after that, we can watch it in German, because I have it in German. Oh, okay. The the three theatrical release movies. So. Oh, but the extended. We're gonna miss shit. No, we're not. <laughs> yes, we will! We will miss shit, because, you know, they put so much stuff into the who extended... Cares? <laughs> who cares if they... Who cares if they extended Fellowship of the Ring? Tom Bombadil is still not in it! I know he isn't. <laughs> I'm sure there's a reason why he's not in it. Yeah. Probably ask the I, I, yeah, I, Peter I, Jackson later. I, I, I saw like um, Spoonie one did a did an explanation on that sort of thing. But anyway, so yeah, beautiful, beautiful creatures. <laughs> I think about I think about like at least one fourth of this video was talking about beautiful creatures. Yep. <laughs> this explicitly like, but yeah, it's like great. It has a it, has, it does have a lot of great dialogue. The scenery was really nice too. Yeah. The house. It's like a it. <laughs> I just thought it's like he walks he walks into the the mansion which is all it's all like, like it's all it's like all swampy and decrepit. Oh yeah. And he walks into the and then he walks into the mansion. It's like it's cleaner on the inside. Yeah. And it's, instead of it's bigger on the inside, obviously. But uh. Oh, sorry. oh one thing I forgot. It's like there, there's like there's a scene where um Emma the thing we thought the Viola Davis who we thought was voodoo and all that. Yeah. The seer. It's like she stops by this one place and like in the background it says. Sharon Swamp. Ha ha ha. I got that. <laughs> we understood that reference. I, I can never... Is it? Is it Sharon? Uh, Sharon, Sharon... I, I, I think... I like... The I prefer, pronunciation is a little fucked. Well, well, I, well, I prefer Sharon because, like, Sharon... Sharon. Like, more emphasis on... It does the, make more sense to Because like yeah. Sharon sounds like I'm Ozzy Osbourne. It's like, Sharon! <laughs> but, um... See, Sharon just sounds like a... But I don't know if it's, like... Feminine. I don't know if it's, like, uh, Sharon... Uh, uh, Sharon... Sharon... Heron. So, like... Because the, the CH thing kind of messes with me. If you don't know, it's it's the guy in Greek mythology who basically uh, who rose who rose the bow down to Hades, like all the, all the poor souls that they that have the um, from uh, the sticks, I believe. Yeah, yeah the river sticks. The river sticks. Yeah. And for some reason, he uh, for some reason um was it Dan uh, uh, Dante like in like when he wrote the Inferno, he also wrote that into his thing where it's like 
that, he did meet him, yeah. I that, the, so. No, like that guy, like he he basically brought in this whole idea of hell and basically mixed mixed mythologies and religions. Yes, he did. Which, yes. is, which is weird. Yeah, I believe he brought in Achilles, Hercules, Cerberus, Cerberus. But yeah, with like when he talked about when he talked about Sharon, it's like the first level of hell are for the people who re, who regret not having a coin to give Sharon so that so that they could go to I don't know maybe heaven or purgatory. I I I I watched like the, this video. I watched like a video about it once in ninth grade. Watched my little brother play Dante's Inferno and then watched Dante's Inferno the animation. Oh, fun. Yeah, that was interesting, especially when you got to the, the Circle of Lust. Well, I did read some of the book, actually. I did read some of the Inferno. <laughs> I actually have this... I actually have this, like, I'm wearing this medallion that, that's... I bought this, like, this uh, medallion from... Uh, it's 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 a Negima medallion, and it's for, uh, and, you know, Negima, which deals with magic. I don't I don't really think it's the same mythos. Not, not at all. But it's like the wizards and all that, and well, has... everybody kind of like, depending on which thing you're talking about, magic is done pretty much completely different. It's it's not it's not it's not like uh, the. It's like with magic, it's like, it's funny because like with writers and a lot of things, they change the mythology with wizards a lot with wizards and magic well, yeah. and casters I and mean, all of that. But with um, but with the fantasy setting, it's always Tolkien. Yeah. Almost always Tolkien. Yeah, it's more or less for like see the differences between beautiful creatures they weren't chanting any like you know they weren't chanting anything they weren't waving wands like they only, harry they, potter they say one word or two and she, then they wave their yeah, wand like she, uh, the only person who had a, who had to chant anything was when she was resurrecting the dead yeah pretty much and like then you got things like buffy where you had the witches where they had to get all these ingredients make these circles and then chant in latin or some dead language in order to do something you know I haven't even seen Supernatural, but apparently it involves a lot of salt. Well, even then, sometimes with Buffy, it involved a lot of weird ass things, especially when you tried to bring back Angel's soul. I'm, I'm thinking of like the there's a, there's a bit in um, Animaniacs where they bring in like or they make fun of King Arthur, and they have Merlin, who's basically just this guy going, "It's magic." He just he just looks like a stoner. It's like, it's like, please, Merlin, bring us someone to fight the dragon. I'm scared. Like literally, that's how King Arthur talked in that in that short. It's like, all right, I got this. Eye of Newt, an ounce of Sprite, send to us a great a great white knight. Oh my god, an ounce of Sprite. It's that kind of show, Animaniacs. <laughs> I know, I know. Now, now it's like forty two. I think yeah, forty two. I think like so far it is a bit. Like, it, it is longer than the dark than the Dark Knight Rises oh, vlog by about, by about two by about two minutes. Oh really? Oh Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> this oh, is gonna be a bitch to put on to blip or YouTube. Yeah. Unless like unless I just unless I just say screw the audio, <laughs> no screw the video. It, it, like as long as you don't have to worry about the video, then it's like okay. So what? You would just put pictures instead? <laughs> that'd be stupid. That I think be that'd stupid. be actually kind of funny if you put in just like the right pictures, the right animation. It would take a lot. It would take actually. I think that would take a lot longer than to upload the bloody thing. <laughs> I know, but you know it would be funny if you could just give up a little animation pictures of us doing something. You know, depending on which part of the video you're at. From what I heard, that's how they do the Ricky Gervais show, where it's like they do this podcast and then they animate around it. I th well... I, I, I haven't seen the Ricky Gervais show, so I don't know. Me neither, so... Uh, but I think, yeah, 43 minutes, that's pretty good. Yeah. Beautiful creatures. Beautiful creatures. Yeah, it's like, yeah, I liked it. I like this movie. I came out with, this, with, a, with a good feeling. It was great. So how many stars do you think? I don't... I guess I like. I guess I prefer being more ambiguous because I more ambiguous. Huh? Yeah, I was more ambiguous about like uh, less black and white about things in general. Like, uh, like I was just thinking about this. Where it's like, anytime people ask me uh, asks something like sexual orientation, I'm like I don't want to deal with labels. Fuck you. But with like uh, with race, it's like that's kind of hard. Difficult. That's kind of hard and difficult because it's like it's saying. Yeah, th this it's kind of putting a movie in a place where it's like, oh, I'm not as good. For some reason, I personify things in my head, whether it be toys or movies. But it's like, I like this movie. I I, I would probably actually buy this movie on DVD or watch it again because I because I, I, I think I will. Too. I really get the I, DVD. I, I, I did like it. I was, it was, might actually it was, read the book too. I think it might actually be a series. I'm not sure about that. Uh, maybe I don't know because I've I've seen the book around even with its like the cover of like you know like what they have the movie the poster. But uh, I think 
I don't know, maybe it is just a single book, but, you know, the ending that we had for the movie, it was kind of, you know... It, I, I was, I wonder if that was, a, if it was that open-ended in the book. Maybe. Or semi-open-ended. I was like, yeah, yeah, with the, yeah, with the, with the open-ended on the ending, like, at one point something happened that made me drink the water bottle so that I could throw it at the screen at the, at the end of the movie. <laughs> And then, oh, then they open this up the ending, I'm like, okay, I'm just going to throw this anyway because I'm bored. <laughs> well, we could try to go find the book at a bookstore. Inklings. Oh, we could totally film it! <laughs> because my sister, because my sister-in-law, because my sister-in-law's family owns Inklings, I should probably apply to them. But yeah, anyway, 45 minutes, we should probably end this. Seriously, though, we should just do a separate little video where we, like, are... I'm driving to Inklings! Oh, come on, it'd be funny! It'd be an adventure! <laughs> what time is it? Adventure time? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, let's just cut this off right now. Okay. <laughs> Bye, guys! Peace out, and sorry for the horrible angle. <laughs>